Hey there, Cody Schwab here, founder of Google Logs of War. And in this video, I'm going to teach you three different ways to increase your SEO CTR. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, your you know, search engine optimization click-through rate. And what this means is um, when you are ranked in Google and you have your your page right listed in the search engine rankings, um, you know how when you go to Google and you search for something, it shows the results. And when you when you look at the different results, it'll show the headline of your website, and then it shows like a little description that it has the link, right? So there are ways to actually increase that click-through rate, and this is especially helpful for if you're not ranked, you know, maybe number one or maybe in the top three, but you are on the you know the first page of Google and maybe you're in the top five which is good because that's above the full meaning people don't have to scroll up and down in order to find your website now when people look through the search engine results right they only almost 90 percent only check the first page right they don't even go to the second page but if you're already there but you don't have maybe the number one spot or top few spots there are ways you can actually get more clicks because what I'm about to teach you is what's known as selling the click. And this is making yourself stand out so that people click your website and you get more traffic. So even if you're not the number one spot, you can get more traffic. So the first method is to insert symbols into your headline and possibly your description. Now mostly I do this for the headline. And what it does is basically when you insert a symbol into your headline, it makes it stand out. Now it can't just be any symbol but there are a few symbols that I use and when you input them into your headline it actually makes it stand out right because if you're reading a whole list of of results in Google and you see a page with some symbols right that's going to draw your attention and so when you go and look at that you know you're, you're opted to already click because it stands out and so actually below this video I'm gonna put a few different symbols that you can use now I'm not gonna lie and say that I originated this this method I actually learned it from the guys at Blue Hat SEO and with this method it actually does increase your click-through rate it's been proven now you can put these symbols at the beginning of your uh, title or you can put them at the end now I recommend doing you know either one if you really want to stand out you can put them at the beginning if you're not if you're worried about Google and the other search engines then put them at the end but by inserting symbols you make yourself stand out and I've done this for a couple different sites and actually seen an increase in clicks because of it so it's very cool the second one is what I call keyword first and then description so when you search in Google and I, I'm still surprised to this day how many people don't use the keyword in their their title of their website or the description um, a lot of people just you know they create a page about whatever but they don't use the keyword in their title or they just put it kind of in the back of the title so that sometimes it even gets cut off when you're looking at the search engine results and so what you need to do is you need to put your keyword first and what this does is well first Google really only takes the first five or seven words of your title and by putting your keyword at the beginning of your title uh, Google automatically takes that right so the first few words that you that you read when you're on Google if you're you know if your page is indexed you'll see the keyword first and what this does is if the keyword that you're going after is the keyword that they're searching for it bolds it so that helps you stand out and like I said there's still so many people that don't do this that they either don't put the keyword in or they put it in like at the end or in the middle no you want to put it at the beginning because you want it to be the first thing that the person sees now this bolds the keyword now you also want to do this in the description so before you put anything else in your description you want to use the keyword so say your keyword was bass fishing lures well then you would put bass fishing lures and then maybe a dash or that that straight line or whatever you want maybe an asterisk but I usually just put a simple dash and then the title of the rest of the page um, and this again it makes it bold and the keyword is right there so it looks relevant to whoever's reading it and again for the description do the same thing put the keyword first makes it bold people see it then they will read the rest of your description if it stands out um, and if it's in the search engine rankings so what you could do to combine the first two is to put one or two symbols to make it kind of indented a little bit and then you put the keyword 
so that it's bolded. So right there you already have your title sticking out a little bit and then you have a bold keyword. So it really stands out and you're really going to get attention. Now the last one uh, is the biggest part of what I call selling the click. And basically what this means is you use the rest of your space after you've put the keyword and maybe possibly symbols if you want to. You use the rest of your space to sell the click, to sell the reader or the viewer to click on your site. Now, the biggest thing is using a call to action. So if your site was about something that solves a problem, you could easily implement that in the rest of your headline. So an example of one that I had was sales letter templates. And then I had the dash, and then I had create them in 15 minutes. So that was a call to action, and it was part of my headline. Now, it actually doesn't affect you with your SEO because you already have your keyword and your keyword is in your site, it's in the description, it's in the links, right? So you're actually showing somebody what they're going to get to their site. Now you also want to do this in the description. So once you put your keyword for the description, then you can write out the rest of the description, but you want to kind of write it as an AdWords ad. You want to use ad copy. You want to get people to click. You know, please, you, or, you know, put warning. You need to read the rest of this page to learn how you can build sales letter templates or if it was bass fishing lures you know warning the sale is about to end please click the you know view our site to see what bass fishing lures we have still in stock or whatever do you get what i'm saying so it's not a boring description it's actually engaging the viewer so not only do you have these symbols that are standing out you have the keyword that's bolded you are also telling them to take action before they've even done anything and this is why we stand out, right? And so even if we're not number one, we can still sell the clicks to the people that are, that are looking at Google and seeing this result that's just standing out. You stick out, you look individual, you get more clicks because of it. So that's it. That's, those are the three. So use symbols, put the keyword first, and then sell the click. Alright, so if you really enjoyed this video, there's actually another video that you can get right now by clicking the link that's either below or next to this video. And that will take you to uh, a page where you can get access to the next video, which is going to teach you the three main things that you need to implement in your SEO to get better results and actually blast past your competition because you're using it. All right, and there's actually a couple of other videos. If you haven't already seen them, uh, you can watch those there as well. And I think that you really get something out of it. Okay, so again, my name is Cody Schwabe, founder of Google Logs and More, and I really want you to click the link, and I will see you in the next video.